السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم ٹو انادر لیکچر آن ڈیزائن آف اسٹیل اسٹرکچرز اپ ٹل ناؤ وی ہیو لرن ہاؤ کین وی ڈیزائن اے سمپل اسٹیل اسٹرکچر بیسڈ آن گریوٹی لوڈنگ سو اف یو ہیو بین فالوئنگ مائی لیکچرس تھرو آؤٹ یو مسٹ بی ایبل ٹو ڈیزائن اے سمپل اسٹرکچر بیسڈ آن دا ڈیڈ لوڈ اینڈ دا لائیو لوڈس سو وی ول موو فارورڈ اینڈ وی ول ڈسکس دا لیٹر لوڈنگ آن اسٹرکچرس اسپیسیفکلی دا ونڈ لوڈنگ آن اسٹرکچرس سو ان دا نیکسٹ فیو لیکچرس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹک ٹو دا ونڈ لوڈنگس بٹ بفور دیٹ آئی ول سجیسٹ دیٹ یو شوڈ گو تھرو دا ویریس کوڈس لائک اف یو آر فالوئنگ دا امیریکن کوڈ یو شوڈ ریڈ دا اے ایس ای ای سیون کوڈ دیر آر فور ٹو فائیو چیپٹرس آن ونڈ لوڈس so there are some general requirements then uh, ASCE gives two basic methods to calculate the wind loads on structures the one is the directional method and the second one is the envelope method so we are just going to discuss the directional procedure in this particular video I have been using Tecla TEDS for calculation of wind loading on structures you can even use or prepare your own excel sheets for calculation if you go through the codes uh, the procedure is very simple and you can even prepare your own excel sheets once you open tecla tets you can change the location you can change it to europe Aust- australia asia or whatever but since we are following the american uh, code so i'm going to select usa and then click on new now here you can uh, select your units so if you are fo- following the feet and inches units uh, then you should select this option but if you are following the millimeters and meters then keep it as si units so since our structure is in meters so i'm going to select this option then here click on loading tab and uh, wind loading asc e7 click on this one since our structure is uh, 20 meters in length 10 meters in width and having a flat roof so i'm going to select directional method this one flat roof with parapet example now if you double click on this option it will take you to the input window now here i will input all my values and then we uh, we are going to discuss that what wind pressure is coming on various faces of the building so let us go through these options one by one if i click on the geometry uh, here i need to enter the building length width and the height Uh, so we know that the building length wo- is 20 meters the width is 10 meters and height is 5.5 meters so uh, also before going further the structure type uh, if you open uh, this drop down menu it will show you uh, various options like enclosed building partially enclosed building partially open building or open building we are going to select uh, enclosed building in this case and the roof type is flat so i'm going to keep it as flat roof i will input 20000 as my length of the building and 10 meter as width of the building the height to eaves is 5500 since our building is having no parapet so i'm going to uncheck this option and uh, here you can see the plan view of your uh, building and the elevation view of the building so click on okay now uh, we will input the basic values here just change the location name to whatever you want i will just click keep it as other uh, now basic wind speed depends on which area you are considering like which part of the world you are in so various wind maps are available from where you can uh, uh, take this basic wind speed so for this particular 
स्ट्रक्चर लेट अस की पिट एज थर्टी एट मीटर्स पर सेकेंड देन द नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन इज द रिस्क कैटेगरी देर आर फोर रिस्क कैटेगरीज अवेलेबल यू शुड जस्ट गो थ्रू द कोड टू चेक द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दीज कैटेगरीज सो आई विल कीप द रिस्क कैटेगरी एज वन इन दिस केस डायरेक्शनैलिटी फैक्टर कीप इट एज जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव then three exposure categories are defined in ASCE which is B C and D exposure category basically uh, depends on what kind of exposure your uh, structure is getting like is it uh, placed in an open environment like is it close to the sea or is it located near to the buildings like town area or like that so based on that you can select your exposure categories we are going to select exposure b in this case then keep it as 0 meter uh, the gust factor is usually taken as 0.85 then click on okay and if your uh, building is located in a topographically significant location then you should check this option and input these parameters then in the load cases there are four load cases uh, let us go through them one by one the one and two case is basically when the wind is perpendicular to the 20 meters length this uh, these are the cases one and two and it further uh, calculates the pressure based on two coefficients one is the negative coefficient and the other one is the positive coefficient similarly cases 3 and 4 are when the wind is acting perpendicular to the 10 meter length and it has also two types of cases with one with a negative coefficient and other one with the positive coefficient so we will keep the uh, same cases and click on okay then in the design options you can change your design code from this drop down and you can select which method you want to choose here i'm going to select the directional method and click on okay in the output options it will ask you whether you want a full complete report of wind load or only the summary or you don't want any report at all so let us check all these options click on okay and then click on finish now you see a uh, tecla ted has generated this complete report along with the sketches now tecla has calculated the wind pressures on various faces of the building like uh, the leeward side windward side and the roof uh, we are going to discuss them one by one in the next video inshallah in detail i will explain you all these uh, uh, pressure forces in the next lecture inshallah so till then take care and allah hafiz